Hey everyone, welcome back to the place we're testing every single KN95 and other mask on Amazon. Very excited to be testing the, uh, well, we don't know, it doesn't say on there, but uh, on the listing, it's the uh, ApePow mask, which you can see, oh, snap, Amazon removed the listing before we could test it. Hmm, interesting. But, Ape Pal does uh, exist. We have tested their Galaxy face masks before. Uh, we can put a link to, to that one. Um, let's test it anyway, though, because, you know, what else, what else are we going to do with the day, aside from, you know, work? So let's open this up. <laughs> open this up and get it in the clamper. That's kind of a tough... Ooh, individually packed. Nice, 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 nice. So we don't know why. We'll never know why Amazon uh, eliminates a listing. They don't, don't tell you. But uh, maybe a reason. About to find out. Is it because you knew I was going to test this Amazon? And you're like, uh-uh. I don't think Amazon cares about me. All right. Put this in the clamper, and then we'll talk about why this is not a KN95 mask. Even though it claims to be. And put it in there and go. Okay. See, and let it rip. This is a PFE machine, particulate filtration efficiency machine. You want to find out more about how this works? Check out that link. All right, let's talk about our our pals over at 8PAL. So we don't have the listing to go on, but they're making claims right there. 95% par particle filtration efficiency, KN95 protective mask, efficient protection, and they're saying GB2626, 26, 26, 2019, which is the executive standard, the Chinese standard for masks. But I know this is not an actual KN95 mask which you can too, if you want to be like cool and exciting like me. And like we're, everyone that you know is like, oh my God, you know that guy down the street? He knows everything about the KN95 standard. You know. So uh, I've said this before, but uh, if, in order to be uh, the KN95 standard, you have to say KN95, which they did. Ah, one out of three. They also have to say which standard, which in this case would be the GB2626-2019, and they have to put the manufacturer name on, which they have not done. 8PAL, MyPAL, YourPAL, we don't know. Who's the actual manufacturer? Do we know? Oh, wow. Stealth mode. No manufacturer name. All right, let's check out the mask. So this is probably not going to test well, I'm guessing. This is going to be a fake mask because Amazon pulled. Wow, those ear loops are... Phenomenal. I was about to say phenomenal, and then what happened? It broke. Oh, why? Individually packed is nice. Uh, the airflow resistance is 41.7 pascals. You know what that means? It's probably not going to be very efficient. Super breathable, though. Let's try it on. So again, I would say 9 times out of 10, when it says just KN95, the filtration totally blows. So we'll see if that holds up here. God, that is so bad. I need to come up with a great name for it. Hold on. I'm going to say that this smells like uh, an old penguin doused in gasoline. Alive. Not set on fire. It's like a, I'm getting some zoo vibes. I'm getting, I'm getting some gasoline vibes. I'm getting plasticky. Ugh, it's not good. No, you're fine. Um, this is not uh, a great mask. All right. But does any of that matter? If it doesn't protect you, what does the clamper say? Clamper never lies. Ooh, <laughs> this may be a record, my friend. And maybe we know why Amazon canceled you, brother. That's bad. 27.709. 27.709. That is one of the worst KN95 masks we ever tested. 27%. Terrible mask. Now, I would not buy this mask. But you know what? You wouldn't either because you can't because... Uh, Amazon got ahead of you on this one, so sorry, dogs of Amazon. This listing doesn't exist anymore. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. Stay away from 8PAL. 8PAL is not your pal. Now we'll catch you on the next test. Thanks so much.